Hey guys, so it's almost Christmas and New Year, so today we'll talk about how to help others this holiday season with just some regular web browsing or buying. And forget paper business cards, the new ones are online. So there are several ways to help less fortunate people this holiday season, besides from dumping your spare change in a bucket somewhere. Take a look at the 2010 holiday tweet drive, for example. It's organized on Twitter and going on across the United States. Participants at local tweet ups are asked to donate a new toy or piece of clothing. Just follow at tweet drive 2010 on Twitter for more info. If you're not planning on going to a tweet up, you can always just stay home and donate money with something you do on a daily basis, searching the web. But instead of using Google, Bing or any other search engine, use Good Search. Every time you do a search on this site, a donation is made to your favorite cause, which you can select yourself. And those searches can add up. Just 500 people searching a day will add up to about 7300 bucks of donations in a year. And then there's Swipe Good, which also makes giving super simple. When you buy anything, Swipe Good rounds the credit card purchase up to the nearest dollar, and then the difference is donated to a charity you pick. All you do is sign up on the site, and the service will take care of itself. You're charged on a monthly basis, and on average, Swipe Good users donate about 20 bucks a month. Not bad. And the new trend is taking over Facebook. The social network changed the look of the profiles, as you probably know, and now many users are turning the profiles into creative pieces of art. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. People are creatively using their picture feed and new profiles to really customize their Facebook profiles. It's pretty awesome. And we also had some sad news this week. Yahoo is closing Delicious, a bookmarking and web organizing site. If you were an avid user of Delicious, here are a few alternatives. Xmarks is a popular sleek looking bookmarker. It has about 15 million users already. Pinboard.in is very similar to Delicious, but one of its major downsides is that it isn't free. For eight bucks, you can import bookmarks, search top tags and archive your tweets. For $25, you can archive entire web pages, not just the URL. That's pretty cool. Or you could use StumbleUpon. It's a free online web discovery tool, but also has a bookmarking system. And viewer Michael Wade Moss sent me a Facebook message this morning with a great viral video tip. Do you know what your girlfriend or wife is really trying to say? Well, check out the Manslator, which translates woman language in simple man words. I'm fine. Me not fine! I'll be ready in five minutes. Me ready 30 minutes! Do whatever you want. You know do what you want. Check out the full video on webbeat.tv slash 40. And it's time for the website of the day, sponsored by moreshare.com. Free social advertising for your website. Check it out at moreshare.com. Today I picked about me. Paper business cards are so last year, try about.me, an online landing page with all your social networks, websites and online resumes and portfolios so you can make a good impression with just one site. And most importantly, the setup is super easy. It only took me a few minutes. So check it out at about.me. All right, guys, that's it for Webbeat numero 40. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to use our GoDaddy discount codes WB1, WB2 and WB3 for new domain names. And for links to the sites and videos I talked about today, check webbeat.tv slash 40. All right, that's it. See you later. Doi. Okay, intro? Yep. Oh. Intro. Intro. Just follow. Sorry. Shut your cake off. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, never heard of that. Me, an online landing page with all your social networks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. The airport. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh.